Viewers have been excited for the comedy You People that became the number one movie on Netflix seemingly overnight. Lauren London stars in the flick and it's one of the first times we're seeing her in the spotlight in such a big way after the tragic 2019 death of her longtime partner, Grammy winning rapper activist Nipsey Hussle, with whom Lauren shares a child. In 2020, the actress did invest in a new residential fresh start for her and her two sons, where they currently live, a $1.7 million contemporary Spanish style home in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles. And as you'll learn in this video, Lauren is a native of LA for as long as she can remember, and her roots run pretty deep. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Everyone is excited to see Lauren London return on screen in a big way, starring alongside Jonah Hill in Netflix's You People. Lauren stars as Amira in the movie, Hill's character Ezra falls for her despite their very different backgrounds as a Jewish man and a Muslim woman. Lauren wasn't sure if she wanted to join the cast at first as she didn't know if the project aligned with what she was doing work-wise. But it seems that she made the right decision and she was the perfect fit for the role. After her longtime partner Nipsey Hussle died, Lauren reportedly wouldn't take acting roles for the sake of simply working. She just makes time for the right roles. Instead, she focuses more on her spirituality and raising her two sons, Cameron, who she shares with rapper Lil Wayne, and Cross, who is the son of her and Nipsey. Lauren also simplified her life on the residential front around the same time, moving on from a series of rental homes for a stunning property in the area of Sherman Oaks, California, where she still resides with her family. She bought this home in 2020 for $1.7 million in an off-market deal. And as you'd expect, the estate is completely walled, gated, and set up with security cameras for ample privacy. The home is a contemporary, Spanish style residence, which was built back in 1949, but fully renovated and expanded since into the two level crib that it is today. Sherman Oaks is a neighborhood that famously provides a suburban feel, but has been growing in popularity with celebrities recently. The leafy and peaceful community located in the San Fernando Valley lies between Encino and Studio City, only 30 minutes from downtown LA. A handful of celebrities call Sherman Oaks home now, including Nev Campbell, who's a close neighbor, Lil Nas X, and much more. The charming spread offers over 2,500 square feet of space, along with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a handful of living spaces throughout. The grassy front lawn is shaded full time by a massive redwood tree adding to the charm of the property, while well, the backyard is even more impressive. Her home boasts a covered porch and plenty of space to entertain out back, also with features like a barbecue center with bar style seating. Elsewhere, there's also a sparkling pool with inset spa and Baja shelf to sunbathe, not to mention the lawns are mostly hardscaped, making it very low maintenance. Sounds like the perfect space for summers in the San Fernando Valley. In a recent interview, Lauren opened up about her routine and what keeps her going most days. Raising her sons in this very home, she also focuses heavily on the spiritual aspect of her life. Lauren is an early riser and practices this intentionally, explaining, I try to wake up an hour before I have to wake up. I have definitely found that when I actually give myself space to wake up, I'm actually better. She then starts her day off with intention, including prayer, meditation, tea, reading, and then right into parenting. Inside Lauren's home, there are plenty of charming yet lux spaces for her to execute her daily routine. The French style double doors open into a living room where you'll find a fireplace and the open floor plan also leads to a step down family room with yet another fireplace. Nearby spaces include an office study as well as a large formal dining room that further connects to the kitchen. The Eden kitchen is surprisingly roomy and was completely new upon moving in, boasting luxury stainless steel appliances, a whitewashed brick backsplash, and a breakfast bar. The former owners of the home custom installed all the new bells and whistles in Lauren's stylish kitchen, as well as the neutral decor and hardwood floors found throughout the home. If you're wondering, Days of Our Lives and Devious Maids actor Matt 
Mike Sedino and his wife Erica Franco are the ones who sold this charming home to her a couple of years back. Many of the walls in the home follow a similar color scheme, painted a crisp white, while some accent walls sport a dark gray or driftwood color. The house is uniquely shaped. It's long and narrow, and only the back half has an upper level. However, they knew how to maximize this space, and the floor plan continues into a cozy step-down media lounge which is tucked away under the staircase. Three of the bedrooms are located on the upper level, including Lauren's master suite, while one guest room is located downstairs at the far end of the abode. There's even a bonus room downstairs that could be used as a bedroom, a mini home gym, or a playroom. Lauren's serene master retreat offers up a private balcony to take in views of the hills, a walk-in closet with custom built-ins and a stylish vaulted ceiling. Of course. Her ensuite is equally lavish, and it includes a black and white color scheme, a soaking tub, dual vanities, and relaxing dual rainfall shower. Back outside, a two-car garage rounds out her home's features. While Lauren is more selective with her acting gigs these days, she claims that she learned a lot about her roots while filming the latest hit comedy, You People, alongside Jonah Hill. She said about this in a recent interview, My dad is Jewish, my mom is black. I just grew up with my mother in my household. I didn't grow up with my dad living with us. My parents divorced when I was really young. I was three. So my experience is of my mother's experience because I just grew up with a single black mom. In this movie, Lauren plays Amira, who starts a relationship with Jonah Hill's Ezra, and the couple who come from completely different backgrounds, one being Muslim and one being Jewish tried to unite their families. Lauren talked more about finding parts of herself in the role, explaining, What felt personal was shooting in LA and some of those areas that we shot in and some of the places that we shot in. I like that they were Jewish because it was also some stuff that I got to learn via being in the movie that I didn't know. Lauren does have deep ties to Los Angeles regardless. Her mom was the first in the family fully born and raised in LA and then Lauren's upbringing was the same. Despite moving around a lot growing up, it was still in the city. The actress's memories all over Los Angeles, including living with their grandmother in Pasadena, riding through the jungle as a child to visit her aunt and more. Now Lauren still remains in LA, but this time in Sherman Oaks, where she seems to have settled in well with her two sons. She opened up about how she's choosing to raise her kids as well, saying, I'm a single mom, so I want to be very realistic with them. Life is tough. I don't want to cushion everything for them. I want them to be prepared for life. I think I'm a balance because sometimes I think I may be going too soft, but I have times where I'm like, hey, 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 y'all, come on now. Let's get this together. I think I'm an old school mother. Well, it seems that Lauren London has been doing quite well despite the tragedy that struck a few years back. And she has been choosing to focus on the good in her life, including her kids, their health, and their opportunities. Now that we've checked out Lauren's Sherman Oaks residence, as well as what she's been up to in her home life recently, I think that's gonna conclude today's house tour. But before we go, answer me this. If you only knew one city your whole life where you were born and raised, would you want to raise your family elsewhere someday? Or would you stay put? Let me know what you would choose in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.